Hi, my name's Dave Chalice. I've been at St Mary's for about 18 months. My wife Iris and I've just been leading the Alpha course online. Um, about four years ago, I sensed that the time was right um, for me to pursue uh, my uh, dream of uh, becoming a counsellor. And uh, I'd had already uh, had that vision for about 10 years and the time seemed to be right when I got to the age of 60 to start doing the training and uh, honestly nothing uh, prepares you for the emotional washing machine and reality check that comes with that kind of uh, training and um, it soon became pretty clear to me that uh, I just wasn't emotionally um, equipped to deal with some of the deeper issues and uh, just kind of really uncomfortable feelings that were in the room with the clients and um, so I, I got to a point where I just pray to God uh, just give me give me compassion give me more compassion uh, for these people and uh, Romans 12 2 says that uh, we're to be transformed by the renewing of our minds and um, that renewal is a daily ongoing thing. I actually forgot all about the fact that I prayed that prayer and uh, until about a year later when I was just conscious that I wasn't um, worried about my clients in the same way, I wasn't kind of taking responsibility for them uh, and to fix them and uh, I was a lot more comfortable with uh, the things that were coming up in the room and they weren't affecting me in the way that they had done. And I think there's two things that was involved in that transformation. One was, I know Jesus lives in me and I know that the Holy Spirit gave me what I needed and still does to, uh, to grow in that area and to, to uh, be more like him. But then there's also that kind of relentless gaze that you have to have on Jesus and uh, looking at uh, scriptures about God's love for me, about uh, God being my father, and actually letting that sink in, not just reading it, but letting it soak in. And I want to be more Christ-centered and uh, bring him to people that I meet around uh, in Chile and our, our community. I know I'm gonna need more compassion for that. Um, I'm just thinking recently of when Jesus looked out on the crowds and uh, he was filled with compassion for them and I think um, I'm going to need that. I'm going to be more like Jesus if I'm going to, to really get on board with the church's vision to see uh, more people come to know him. So God is able to do far more than we ask or think and I uh, hope this little testimony has been an encouragement to you.